Hi, I'm Mary Beth Raven, the lead designer for Notes 8. This video shows just a few examples of the design changes we made during Notes 8 based on user feedback. It is not a demo of the whole client. The first thing that you'll notice about Notes 8 are the visual changes, particularly the new colors and the use of gradients in places like the toolbar and the action bar and the tab row. We conducted several studies with various users to arrive at the color palette, and then we created 10 different wireframes, different treatments of certain colors in certain places, such as gradients for the selection model or highlighting in the action bar. And we tested these different wireframes with users to arrive at the one that was most appealing to most people. You can also see that we have a sidebar. And there's a panel in the sidebar labeled Day at a Glance. Our original design simply labeled this as Calendar, but we quickly received feedback that it was confusing to have both a tab labeled calendar and a sidebar panel labeled calendar, so we changed it to day at a glance. Over in the day at a glance, you can also see that showing all the time slots wastes a great deal of valuable screen real estate. So based on feedback from our early users, we changed the default to be simply a summary of the calendar entries for the day. In the sidebar, you can also see that in addition to day at a glance, we have other information like same time contacts or a feed reader. We realized that it had to be easy to manipulate the panels over here, so we tested several types of controls, several visualizations and arrangements of the controls to try to make them as easy as possible. For example, we started with just two controls, one for making the panel bigger or smaller, and the other for posting a menu of commands. But as the design evolved, we ended up with three, and we started with an arrangement that put the panel menu on the end. And as you can see in the shipping product, we ended up with three buttons, the first or leftmost for this panel menu of options, the middle one for minimizing or restoring the panel, and the last for maximizing it. We also modified the calendar entry layout many times, iterating based, iterating based on feedback from usability testing and beta testers. For example, early on we had the fields for who, that is the required and optional people, up at the top to mimic the email message, but users told us that it did not flow well for them and that subject was more important, so we changed it. There are other, less visible ways that user involvement drove the design of Notes 8. One example is in how we changed our menus. We wanted to hide some of the more technical menu items, and we had our ideas on which ones were the more technical ones that sh should be hidden. So I blogged this idea and received a lot of comments and feedback on which ones should be hidden and which ones shouldn't. So we ended up with an approach whereby on the view menu, we put a advanced menu menu item that was turned off by default, but advanced users and help desk people could go turn it on easily if they needed to access these menus. Regardless of whether the change was small, like changing the F5 key to do a refresh like a browser, or large and strikingly visual, like the new preview pane on the side, the important thing is that the Notes design team was actively engaging customers, not only in Notes 8, but also in the note design of Notes 8 and beyond.